So, obviously there's no One Piece chapter as of yet. I don't know if it's running late. If it's not, then there's no One Piece chapter. But we've got some information with a quick update video that covers two topics. One is the One Piece film Stampede when it comes to more designs or full designs when it comes to characters that's going to be appearing in the movie. And the second topic, and in my opinion, could be very, very intriguing when it comes to... One arc in the anime when it comes to One Piece. We know it's taking place in July. We don't know when exactly officially it starts, but we do know it's in July. It's not that long, two months, it's not that long to wait. Right now, we're currently in the reverie. We've been subjected to a lot of flashback stuff, but this weekend we've got something to look forward to when it comes to the alert. The first official appearance of Im Sama in the anime, so I can't wait for that. So it's going to be a big deal. But now we've got some interesting news. I'll, I'll cover the One Piece film Stampede because it's very simple stuff. Now these designs came out, I believe it was posted up on the 10th of May. We've got more designs and um, some of them that stand out to me the most means there's multiple designs for certain characters like Tashigi. Now there are, we see some of these designs in the teaser trailer like I mentioned. Like, so we know the characters are going to be present for that. The thing that I want to cover though is because there was a recent reveal of the, some of the designs. We've seen the straw hat designs already. We've seen the antagonist that are going to be appearing with Bullet and Vesta and company. And now we've got some designs when it comes to some of the Shiji Bakai, some of the worst generation members, and obviously some of the Marines when it comes to Shiji and Smoker. Now, obviously, we've seen Law's design, we've seen Kids' design, so all the worst generation. I've already said before my favorite designer of the bunch is pretty much Bonnie, just because it looked complete. This is the thing I've been saying right from Jump Fest ever since the sketch designs got revealed. The designs, the, the way it, I think it looks out, it could be the best designs we've ever had when it comes to One Piece films. I'm sticking by that, not just because of the roster, just because of the color schemes and designs and how everything looks different. And that's the thing that's going to stand out. The previous films that we've had when it comes to Film Z and Film Gold. So it's, I can't wait to see what this looks like in the big screen, like, like I've been saying. But... We've got some designs, and some of them, multiple designs, stand out to me the most. So we've got Bora Hancock's design, and it looks like she's got two designs, unless I'm looking into it wrong. Because if, if you've seen in the teaser trailer, it looks like she's wearing a traditional purple one from Marine Ford. Now, it could be the the one we see in the sketch in the design, when it comes to like a dark dress, a black dress, which is kind of cool. It's kind of different. We've seen, we haven't seen that look of Bora Hancock. So it, it could be the very same dress, but we don't really know. We haven't seen the full design yet. So, but that's going to be kind of cool if that's the case, because it means if there's two, more, more than one design, she's got more of a role than just a. Then it just means she's going to have more just a cameo appearance in the movie. She's going to have a bigger role because if she, there's two, there's no reason to have two designs. So then we got Tashigi. It was we've seen the design in in the trailer. She's got a hat. She's got. It's like she's got bullets strapped to her. So that that's kind of cool. She's obviously got us got a sword. And um, we see her in the captain outfit as well. So she has two designs. Who's whose design do you think to be the best? We could still. We got the straw hats designs. Obviously, we, they have two sets. It would just make sense that other characters would have a set of designs. Law uh, doesn't have another set design. He has the yellow, the yellow hoodie on. Kid has the same design. He hasn't. There's no multiple outfits for him. So, so. What do you think this means when it comes to like Boa Hancock to Shigi? And I just find that very interesting. So that's the One Piece film Stampede to cover. But speaking of which, this is interesting news that comes directly from Twitter. I recently looked this about an hour ago. It's that. Yonko Productions. So shout out to him. I will leave a link to that post in the description box below. If this turns out to be legit, and take this with a grain of salt, of course. But if this turns out to be true, this is going to be very intriguing for a lot of different Fans when it comes to One Piece, and it's going to be a split when it comes to Dragon Ball. The name Tatsuya Nagamine is recognizable for a lot of reasons. Now, some of you may have heard this name because he's in charge of Dragon Ball Super Broly recently. Very, very important role in that movie, which is making a re re reappearance. And the reason is, is because apparently, because according to this post, the one art begins in July. Apparently, Tatsuya Nagamine is going to be in charge. As of right now, he has not had an official role when it comes to the One Piece anime. But he has had experience with One Piece movies, and I'll get into that in a minute. But it's not just Dragon Ball Super Bowl he's famous for, he's obviously recently. but He's been involved with Saint Sire Rehash, I believe that was in 2013 and 2014. 
He also did a Digimon movie, which I don't really follow Digimon, but I, it is still a popular show. And most notably, he has had experience with One Piece when it comes to One Piece, the Heart of Gold special, which was which is the prelude to the One Piece film Gold, which the which is the previous movie, and before then One Piece film Z. So and that was a class movie or not by itself. So the fact that he was in charge of that and now Toa Animation are bringing him in charge of the one of the Wano arc is a smart move. The Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And we know the script that got left out because of time constraints when it comes to the movie. So the fact that he's in charge of the, of the Wano arc is gonna be good. Anyway, but he does have a huge track record, so I don't think he's gonna screw up. They would not have hired him for one piece. I've been saying this for from the get-go, despite the layout of, of the Reverie, one is going to be a big deal because it falls around the 20th anniversary of the One Piece anime. Not just with the One Piece film stand people, with the anime itself. So, despite how people may think about the Reverie right now, because the flashbacks understandably so, but I, was, I said this before Reverie started in the anime. The, the problem is, is not, yes, the Reverie is epic in the manga, but the problem is, because of the anime, schedule it falls in between two juggernauts it falls in between two major arcs one of them just ended with the whole Kate Island arc one beginning in July this was sandwiched in between with a couple of chapters so no matter how epic it may be it's a bad time because not only that you have one piece film stampede which we know the budget's going to be insane for that so that's why we've been getting the flashbacks episodes we've been having. I'm not, you know, I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just saying, I'm pointing out a fact because that seems to be the case right now. They are getting into the good stuff with Im Sama and company. So I hope, I hope the flashback, the majority of the flashback is over with. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Again, they would not have hired him if they were going to, if they were going to make this into a joke. I don't think they will. Nothing to worry about when it comes to the budget because look at episode 870 to cry out loud. One of the best animated episodes in One Piece is the Luffy Gear Force Steak Man vs. Captain Curry. One of the best animated episodes in One Piece. History, period. It falls under timing and it's bad timing for us when it comes to the reverie. But it is good news and if it turns out to be legit, like I mentioned, take this with a grain of salt until it's official. But if Tatsuya Nagamina is in charge of the One Piece anime when it comes to Wano, I, I, I'm fully invested because I have... After watching Dragon Ball Super Broly at least five times and seeing how good that was and One Piece Film Z and Heart of Gold, that's probably one of the best specials we've ever gotten in a while. I am looking forward to this, so let me know what you guys think down below. I just find that very interesting if it turns out to be true. Those are my thoughts. Please tell me in the comments. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to more One Piece. Catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.